If your app is dependent on APIs in some way, then this is the video for you. Today, we're going to talk about how to do your proper due diligence when it comes to planning for and using APIs with your app. Now, most apps are going to be using APIs in some way at some point. APIs being the things that allow you to connect your app to another app or another platform so that the two can communicate, right? So most apps are going to use APIs in some way. Some apps are fully dependent on APIs. So if you're building an app where you need to be able to pull data from an external source, and if you can't do that, then the rest of your app isn't really relevant, this becomes even more important. You want to make sure that you're doing the proper research and planning ahead of time when it comes to APIs so that you don't run into problems later. Because there are some unknowns around APIs. And again, the more important APIs are to your app, the more important this becomes. But there are some unknowns and you need to plan for those ahead of time so that you don't end up getting stuck or having to backtrack later on. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, first, if you're new around here, my name is Kristen, and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help business owners and industry experts build custom apps to either start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses, all without coding in with no technical background required. So when it comes to APIs, this is a question, it's a question we get a lot, but it's also something that we see people overlooking simply because you don't know what you don't know. If you've never launched an app before, and certainly if you've never used APIs before, then it can be almost impossible to know what to look out for until you reach a roadblock or a problem point. And, and we don't want that for you because when you're using APIs, sometimes there aren't necessarily a bunch of different paths to take around an obstacle. You know, when you're looking at development in general, usually there are lots of different ways to achieve the same outcome that you're looking for with a feature or a functionality. And so there can always be some compromises and, and some agility involved. And with APIs, that's not always the case. So if you don't plan ahead of time, then when you, if and when you come to those roadblocks, you might find yourself a little bit stuck. So what we're gonna do, is kind of go through a checklist for you. So I'm going to share my screen and we are going to jump over to the whiteboard here. Now, when you're using APIs or, or when you're planning to use APIs and your app, your app's features and functionality are dependent on them in some way. In other words, you need to pull certain information from external services for your full app to function properly. When that is the case with you, there are four different things that you want to confirm prior to actually moving fully into your development. Again, it's better to figure out some potential compromises that you might need to make earlier when it comes to APIs rather than later. So what we're gonna do here is kind of form our own checklist. So the, the very first thing you need to confirm when you're making sure that your app's functionality as it relates to APIs is all doable. The number one thing you need to confirm is that you have access to the API you need to use, okay? So I, sh I should back up and say, if you need to be pulling data from an external source, you need to use an API. So first and foremost, if you need to pull some sort of data and you don't know where that's gonna come from, figure out where that's gonna come from first, okay? What platform, what service, what, what company or whatever it may be, where is that data going to come from? Then you need to make sure that that service offers an API that lets you pull in that data, okay? Now, assuming that that is the case, you need to make sure that you have access to the API, okay? So before you really dive into your development, look at a couple of things with this. Number one, you may need to be on a paid plan 
in order to use a certain API. Now, this isn't a bad thing. This is fine, but make sure you're aware of it ahead of time. What do you need to do or what do you need to confirm to, to ensure that you actually have access to this API in the first place? Because you also want to make sure that it's it falls within your plan, right? And that it's something that you want to actually pursue. Now, you also may need to reach out for special access in some cases, okay? Most commonly, if you are gonna be pulling data from an external service, a third-party platform, and they have an API, it's as simple as going and, and just looking into the API documentation, making sure the API is there, and then either using it or paying for a plan that enables you to use it. But in some instances where maybe, for example, the data that you're pulling from is sensitive in some way, you may need to ask for special access to that API. You may need to reach out to that company or to that service, potentially to their sales team to see how you can actually gain access to that API. Now, this isn't usually the case, but sometimes it is. And the reason why I wanna bring it up is because if you start your development and you don't look into this ahead of time, you may, you may well get to the point where realizing that you do have to have special access in order to access this API, that can end up serving as a really big bottleneck in your development where nothing can really move forward until you figure out where you, until you figure out whether you can actually access this API. So it is important. Now, again, most cases, this, this, isn't, um, this isn't going to affect you in general. But be aware, because if it does, you want to know ahead of time, okay? So keep those things in mind. Now, the, the second thing that you want to be aware of is the pricing for the API, okay? Now, I, I mentioned that, right, um, if any. But there are some specifics that I want to talk about as well. So you, you likely have... A, some certain constraints in which you're building your app, right? Maybe you have a specific budget. Um, maybe you have, you know, a, a certain investment that you can dedicate to using things like outside services, um, stuff like that. And so knowing whether or not you can actually use this API, whether or not it, it's in your budget is important too. Now, typically, if your app is dependent on an API, then making an investment like this, it just makes sense. Yes, you're going to do it. But in some rare instances, for some APIs that are a lot more niche, the pricing can be pretty high. And if this is something that you haven't anticipated at all, then again, if you move into your development without even looking into this and you get to the point where you realize that the this thing that maybe your app hinges on is just way, way, way out of your budget, you may find yourself stuck. Okay, so it's important to look into this uh, ahead of time. And you really just want to understand whether or not you need to be on a plan in the first place. Do you even need to be on, on some sort of a pricing plan or some sort of an access plan for this? And if so, are there any limitations? Okay, this is another important thing to consider that a lot of people overlook. Are you going to be limited in your access to that API or with the, the triggers and the actions that happen within the, that API? Or is it, you know, is it a free for all? <laughs> Once you have access, you have full access. Uh, this can kind of, it can sway the direction you take in your development just by having this information. So examples of this, um, potentially number of requests, okay, that might be one of the limitations, number of requests, um, so number of triggers to pull data is what I mean by that, uh, limits on a per day, uh, maybe per month, right? So maybe if you are paying for access to this API, maybe you are paying for a certain amount of access 
per day, a certain amount of access per month. That's something that you need to be aware of. And then of course, is it open? Is it free? Uh, you know, usually great if it is, but like I said, it's smart to know this going into it. Okay, now the next thing that I want you to check off your list is that you have access to the API's documentation. Okay, the documentation. This is typically pretty simple. When you are looking for API documentation, usually you're going to go to that third party service, the, the platform, the app that you're wanting to connect to, and you're gonna look in their footer, maybe, sometimes in their header, sometimes somewhere else on their landing page. More often than not, if you just scroll down to their footer, you're gonna see something that says API documentation, or it might say for developers, or it might just say documentation, something along those lines. Okay, if you click on that, just confirm that this API does in fact have documentation to go along with it. Now, can you use the API without documentation? Yes, but documentation is kind of like the playbook for the API, right? If you don't have it, it can make your job a lot harder. So if, for example, you are comparing different services that you might want to connect your app to, and so therefore you're comparing different APIs, well, this could be the, the thing that sways you in the direction of one API over another. Do they have good documentation? Because when they do, your job is just a lot easier. So it's definitely a, a big positive to look out for. So in terms of documentation, you know, it's kind of like a guidebook. Um, and again, just check usually, usually the footer and you'll find something. And if you can't find something uh, on the actual services landing page itself, reach out, reach out via their contact form, uh, even do a quick Google search. Usually you're going to find your way to the, do the documentation if it exists, if you just go through those channels. Okay. Now the last checklist item I want you to be aware of is whether this API that you're planning to use requires an authentication method. Okay, so authentication method, you want to check this off. This is really what I'm talking about with this is just when you are connecting your, connecting the API within your app. So you're connecting your app to this external service uh, do you have to authenticate this connection in some way? Okay, now sometimes there's going to be no authentication method, uh, method needed at all, all right? This makes things simple. You can, okay, it's, you know, yes, there's some setup involved, but you plug and play to a certain extent where you don't need to go through a bunch of authentication to get things up and running. Um, more commonly, you will find that you need an API key, okay? And this is just kind of like a password. That's how you can think of it. It's something that allows you to, um, to authenticate and to actually access this and to get the API working, okay? So it's just an extra step to, to have you authenticate this API. And in, in rare instances, um, there may be additional authentication needed. Okay. And again, this is usually going to be the case when you're dealing with potentially more sensitive information, you may need to, um, you may need to go through additional steps to actually gain access to this API. So it, it the use cases really, um, for this are really dependent again, on the type of platform you're connecting to and the type of information you're trying to pull. But sometimes the authentication or just gaining access, sometimes that can take an extended period of time if you do have to go through a certain number of steps in order to set up the API, not from a technical standpoint, but to actually gain access to that third-party service, that external service. Sometimes you have to go through a certain number of steps and sometimes those steps require review from that 
external service, which means that you could be put in a little bit of a wait period. And again, if you don't find that out until you're well into development, maybe you're nearing the end and you're, you're getting to the API setup and you realize now that you have to kind of hit pause and delay everything while you try to um, you know, get all of this up and running, it's not ideal. And so when you are using APIs, when you're planning to use APIs, and again, this becomes more important the more your app is dependent on the use of these APIs. Check these things off, okay? Check these things off. Make sure you have access to the API um, first and foremost, okay? Identify the platform you wanna pull information from. Make sure that you can access the API that will allow you to pull this information, all right? Groundwork right there. Next thing, check the pricing, make sure that you have, um, that you will have access to a plan that works for you if there is, or if there are pricing options, right? Check for API documentation, kind of like a guidebook, makes things a lot easier for you. Um, check in the footer. If you can't find it, do a quick Google search. If you still can't find it, just reach out and ask. The, the service that you're wanting to work with, and they'll be able to steer you in the right direction. And then check what type of authentication you need to go through. Okay, so again, go back to that documentation, read through, see, do you need to authenticate in any way? Is it easy? Does it involve more steps? Do you need to get started now so that when you wanna start development of, of your full app, you actually can without having to worry about this anymore, right? So check those things off. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier, okay? It's going to speed up the development of your app, um, avoid, I should say, any stalls or delays in your development, and ultimately just give you some peace of mind knowing that this potentially really critical component of your app you, you've done your due diligence on it, you've already planned for it, and you don't have to worry about running into a bunch of roadblocks uh, later on with your development. So I hope you find that helpful. Now, if you are just getting started with your app, right, you're in this planning stage, things like this are really important, uh, but you wanna also be able to plan on the strategy related to your app, making sure that you are building the right things at the right time, testing and launching the right things at the right time, prioritizing the right components of your development, of your business as a whole. You want to make sure you're leveraging the right tools as well and platforms to make sure you can accomplish what you need. And if that's you, if you're moving through these initial stages, we have a free workshop that you can join in on. It'll guide you through a lot of this and make sure you're headed forward in the most strategic direction possible with your app. Now you can join in on that by heading to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop. It's free to join in. So we hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.